hey guys I'm back with yet another video on permutations and combination this one is very interesting so we can solve it via dynamic programming which I'm going to talk about in a while how to do it or using a secret trick okay wait till the end of the video to figure out how exactly do I solve it first of all let's talk about the dynamic programming approach so uh, what's the question in how many ways can you go from start to finish so this is the start point this is the end point right and uh, there are two constraints let's check what the constraints are okay first of all you can move in this direction and in this direction right this is down and this is to the right so these are the only directions that you can move in so suppose let's see something valid okay so we can come like this and then this and then this this this, this and this this is a valid one because nowhere we're going back but suppose the same thing we want to do like this going there and going back and there there something like this it is not possible because going up is not allowed right yeah so this, this these are the only constraint okay so let me clear the previous ones right there. okay so let's see in how many ways we can do it right uh, starting from this third point to this particular point we can go in one way right direct straight to this one one way this one one way this one one this one one similarly this is just one right because there's no other way you cannot take this path because this is just not allowed you cannot go to the left direction right this is not allowed okay so these are ones now think about let's take one point okay if we take this point how many ways we can come to this point right we can come from here to here and via this route right and if we think about it closely enough then you see that this number is the sum of this and this because to reach this point either you have to come by this point come from this point or this point right and number of ways till this point added with number of ways till this point gives you number of ways till this point right and once you figure this out then it's pretty easy right you just make the whole grid okay and then this three is just addition of one and two similarly three and one gives you four four and one five and blah 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 and at the end you get when you fill the whole table which i highly recommend you to do just for some fast practice and you get 56 as a result okay now let's look at a very 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 elegant way of doing the same problem okay for this we are going to use something called binary numbers okay? if all your life you have been thinking that binary numbers are just useless we learn them for no reason then i am going to prove you wrong get ready for that binary method okay? yeah. so now let's call a move like this one okay and a move like this zero okay so how many one type of move we will have to make one two three four five no matter whether you where you go through but at five point you will have to move right otherwise you won't reach this particular point right so we'll have to have five ones okay? and zeros how many zeros will you have to have we'll have to have three zeros right three zeros now i'm claiming that any arrangement of five ones and three zeros will give you a valid path now for example one zero one one zero uh, how many one did you get we got three one let me exhaust rest two and there is zero right so this is 
going to give me a path like first of all 1 then 0 then 1 1 0 1 1 0 as you can see if we follow this instruction we reach from start to end similarly if you think about it clearly or closely if you take any combination of five ones and three zeros it's pretty obvious right five times we are going to write and three times we are going down so eventually we are bound to reach at the end right so uh, this is a very elementary fact from uh, permutation and combination right how to count uh, total number of arrangement of five uh, five ones and three zeros okay? so in total we have got how many numbers eight numbers right so eight numbers we can arrange them in eight factorial ways now five of them are similar in one hand and rest three of them are again similar so this is the total number of way and now if we just break it down this would be eight times seven times six times five factorial divided by five factorial let's write three factorial to be six okay this five factorial five factorial cancelled out six six cancelled out eight times seven is 56 right see we got the same answer as this one but this one was way easier right i am calling it easier because this scales really well now suppose you are given a grid of like 20 times 30 right in there doing this dynamic programming solution is going to take a lot of time you'll have to do a lot of summation and things like that right here if you do it by the binary method it's much easier you almost directly get the answer right yeah i think that's all for today hope you like this solution and if you like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so that uh, you get to know whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching see you again bye bye